be with you as we again get to celebrate a holiday of the church today, on this time the feast of St. James the Elder and Apostle of, of Jesus. And so today I'm uh, going to read the reading from Acts appointed for uh, this feast day of, of St. James, and then I'll read uh, some biographical, uh, biographical information rather of St. James from the Treasury of Daily Prayer. So here is our scripture reading from Acts chapters 11 and 12. Now in these days prophets came down from Jerusalem to Antioch, and one of them named Agabus stood up and foretold by the Spirit that there would be a great famine over all the world. This took place in the days of Claudius. So the disciples determined every one to his ability to send relief to the brothers living in Judea. And they did so, sending it to the elders by the hand of Barnabas and Saul. About that time, Herod the king laid violent hands on some who belonged to the church. He killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And when he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. This was during the days of unleavened bread. And when he had seized him, he put him in prison, delivering him over to the to four squads of soldiers to guard him, intending after the Passover to bring him out to the people. So Peter was kept in prison, but earnest prayer for him was made to God by the church. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So we see here in the account of the martyrdom of St. James, uh, while the church uh, in those early days uh, was overflowing in love for the people around them, uh, gathering uh, supplies for the famine to come. Uh, they were met with the violence of the world uh, who would not hear uh, the love of Christ and would not accept uh, Christ's uh, great love and, and forgiveness and his death on the cross for them. But nevertheless, we thank God that St. James uh, remained faithful even unto death. We'll, re we'll read now... Um, this paragraph from the treasury regarding uh, the life of St. James. St. James and his brother John, sons of Zebedee and Siloam, or Salome, uh, were fishermen in the Sea of Galilee, who were called with Peter and his brother Andrew to follow Jesus. In the gospel lists of Jesus' disciples, James is listed following Peter and preceding John. Together these three appear as leaders of the twelve. Because James precedes John, it is reasoned that James is the elder of the brothers. The book of Acts records that James was beheaded by Herod Agrippa I, probably between A.D. 42 and 44. Thus James is the first of the twelve to die a martyr. So there is um, the life of St. James supposed to be the, the first martyr of the twelve apostles, so um, the leader in witnessing uh, the gospel of Jesus by his, by his own death for his faith. Let's pray our prayer of the day for this feast of St. James. O gracious God, your servant and apostle James was the first among the twelve to suffer martyrdom for the name of Jesus Christ. Pour out upon the leaders of your church that spirit of self-denying service, that they may forsake all false and passing allurements and follow Christ alone, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. God bless you today on this Feast of St. James the Elder.